Okay, it's me again. Um, this is part two of the tutorial for my Bewitching Halloween album. Um, we're going to start off with uh, page three. Um, and what's kind of funny is I was re-watching my video to write down notes and everything for the tutorial and I realized that I didn't show the entirety of this page. So um, I'll do it now and I will show you how to do it like this way in the tutorial. So it opens up like this. And then it also, bam, opens up like that. I did not show that <laughs> before. So we actually have three sections on this one. This is a pocket. Oh, this is a pocket. And what I did was I taped the middle so it holds smaller pictures. But that's a pocket over on that side. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So that's what this is. Okay, and like I said, they all have the, the large pocket up at the top. All right, so we'll get started with that. Start the same way <clears throat> we do every page. <clears throat> We're gonna get our A9 envelope. Draw out the adhesive strip. Put our own adhesive on the top. Peel that up and just make sure it's sealed. Alright, so once again we need to make sure that this measures five and a half by eight and a half. So we're gonna start off by cutting one eighth inch off of each side. So it equals five and a half. And then one side off, making it measure eight and a half. Because once again, what we want is for it to open up like this. Okay, now so for page three, we're gonna need two pieces of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. All right, for the first, page, first piece, we're gonna need to cut it at seven and a half by eight and a half. So we'll cut it seven and a half. Now it's already eight and a half going this way, so we don't need to cut it. Okay. Go ahead and get our scoreboard. Where is my, there it is. All right, on the seven and a half inch Seven and a half inch side, we're gonna score it at one inch. Six and a half inches. And six and five eighths, which is really just going over one eighth inch to make that one eighth inch, one eighth inch gusset fold. Okay, go ahead and fold on our score lines. to go ahead and cut that off. I forgot to, forgot to fold this one inch tab over here. Alright, I'm also going to cut the corners off of this. I cut the corners off of all of my tabs, like I said, just so you don't accidentally have um, paper overhanging when you're trying to line it up. Okay, so 
We have a tab here with the 1 8 inch section right there and then a 1 inch tab on this side. Now we're going to go ahead and get our second piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. And we're going to cut this one at 8 by 8.5. So cut it at eight. And it's already eight and a half, so we don't have to cut it there. Get our scoreboard back out. And on the eight inch side, we're gonna score this at two and a half inches. Because this is going to be a pocket. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and fold in the score line. Alright, so I'm going to show you the page again so you can see what we're trying to end up with here. It opens up like that, and then it opens up like that with a pocket down on this end. Okay, so we take our foundation page which is our, our cut to size envelope. I'm going to go ahead and put our score tape on the back side. This is how it's going to end up being with this, feel, bleh, this folding up like that. So we're going to flip it over. This is the same way we do every single page. So hopefully it's getting less and less confusing as we go on here. down. This is how we want it. We're going to flip it, open it to where the fold's in the middle, and we're going to line this up with that score line. And so this is how we're starting off every single page. And you might want to go back. If some of these envelopes start to come apart like this, Go ahead and put some adhesive there just to make sure it doesn't come apart on you. Okay. All right, so now here's our foundation page. This is gonna wind up being the big pocket. This is the first flap. And what we're gonna do is we need to attach these two. All right. So we're going to put score tape on this side, it folds in like this, we're going to put score tape on this side of the album, or uh, paper, just on that flap. And so we have this page with the flap, the side without the flap, we're going to just line this up with that score line. All right. And because this is a pocket, I'll go ahead and put my score tape here. Just uh, identify it as ending up as a pocket, but like I said, I'm not going to stick this down until I'm ready to decorate it. Okay, so it's going to fold in like this. Okay, so what we have now is this folds in like this. Go ahead and do this to make sure it stays down. And then it's going to fold in like this. This is your, your final page with your 8 inch gap over here. So I'll show you again in the actual album. It opens like this. And like that with the pocket which is what we just did okay if I'm not being redundant but I just want to make sure this is as less confusing as possible so I'm kind of scatterbrained sometimes so I feel like I might come off as a little confusing all right so we're gonna do 
page number four. Okay. All right, so page number four opens like this and has a flap like that. So this is very similar to page two. The only difference is this one doesn't have a pocket. You for sure could add a pocket. You know, I mean, any of these can be altered to fit it the way that you want it to be. But um, I was asked for a tutorial of the album I did, so I'm gonna show it the way that I had done it. All right, so just like every other page, you're gonna start off with your envelope. Pull that off. Stick this on. Five and a half by eight and a half. So we're gonna start off by cutting an eighth an inch off each side of the envelope. And then cut one side off, making it measure eight and a half long. So it's gonna end up like that. All right, for the fourth page, we need two pieces of paper again. So our first page is going to measure six and a half by eight and a half. Six and a half. Now it already measures eight and a half that way, so we don't need to cut it. Take our scoreboard on the side that is six and a half inches. We're going to score it at five and a half. And five and five eighths, which is really just moving over one eighth inch. Okay. And pull on our score lines. tricky. So it's going to, it needs to fold in like this, so we're going to flip it over. Where is my tape? There it is. And we're going to add our score tape. We've done on every other page. done with every other page. It starts off like this. This is the way we, we're going to end up with it. We open it up so the fold's in the middle and we're going to line it up with that score line. Okay, so we got that going on. Alright, so we take our second piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. And this one's going, we're going to cut this one at, let's see, five and a half by nine and a half. All right, so we're going to cut it at nine and a half. By five and a half. Okay, and we're going to score on the nine and a half side. I keep losing that thing. There it is. Score on the nine and a half side at eight and a half inches. Once again, we do not need that one eighth inch gusset there, so we're just gonna score it at eight and a half. 
and we're going to fold on our score line. All right, so I messed up showing this on page number two. This is essentially the same thing. So this time I'm going to do this correctly and hopefully it will be less confusing. So if you were confused during the last video on how I did this on page two, please reference this video and hopefully it will make more sense to you. Okay. So what we need is a flap coming off right here, which is this. So we fold this. This needs to be coming off of right here. Sugar ant. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add tape to this side, the side that folds in this side right here. And I hope this is, you can see this. So I'll go ahead and open it up. I find it kind of hard to show it on the black paper, but I just wanted to make sure I did this with the black paper because I wanna be able to reuse these pages since I'm going ahead and making it. And Halloween is right around the corner, so. I mean, obviously you can use this tutorial with any themed album. Oh, there's the end of that roll. Okay, so we're gonna underscore tape to that side. Peel that off. Okay, so this is the pocket on the top. We want to make sure that we attach this to this side so we're not closing up the pocket on the top, okay? So go ahead and line that up with the top. Okay. okay. See, much less confusing than that other video. All right, so we're ended up with this, and then it's still open at the top. It's where that's eventually going to be your large pocket. All right, so opens like that, opens like that. All right, and I will show you it on the album again, so you get what I'm saying. It opens like this, and then it opens like that. Now this one has a pocket. Let's see, it does have a pocket right here? Um, that the way I did that, I just added. Let me see. I just added a piece of paper right there and put tape there to make a pocket. All right, so that's easy enough. Okay, we have one more page um, to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here with this one and I'll be right back for the third part of this tutorial. Okay, thanks, bye.